Hello, everybody. And welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Alright, our last run was almost... Almost a pilot win. We're gonna play the Marine. Uh, we don't have anyone new. We unlocked Gazorp Resort, but he doesn't seem to be there. Singularity? Sure. Icebreaker, portable turret, or duct tape? We'll take duct tape and icebreaker. Singularity, duct tape, icebreaker. All right. So the marine starts with two armor, one armor, one armor. Has better accuracy and better reload times. Yeah? Better reload speeds and weapons. Yes, sir. Okay. What are we... That was so close and honestly I feel like we should have been hit. But we managed to narrowly, narrowly avoid it. Okay. Um, I am expecting. I don't. I, oh my god. Um, I don't remember the Marines. Um, I don't remember his past, like at all. It's the only one I don't remember. Laser sight's really good, especially... There is a synergy it has, I don't remember with what, though. You'll have to excuse me. It's kinda late here. Um... I don't really want to fight the boss with just the sidearm. However, how many bullets do we have in this? Ten? Seems. We should have four left. Yep. All right. I would have been stupid. Like, just like an absolute moron to have not gone for the key. Done and dusted. We missed. All right, all right, all right, all right, all righty. Did we grab that key? No, it's down there. Alright. That was a, a pretty intense room, I'll admit. This guy should go down in one clip. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Okay, we're safe. There we go. Um, I'd like to see... If possible... Some synergies we haven't seen before, which could be a multitude of things. Um, we just unlocked the duct tape, which, if I remember correctly, can lead to some pretty insane weapons. We have three keys. We just unlocked Singularity, which, if I'm not mistaken, creates a black hole. Creates a small black hole, damaging enemies and destroying any projectiles, cut its gravitational pull. Okay, which means this is... Oh, we don't know where our fireplace is yet. And I don't remember seeing keys in the... Sh the, uh... Is it here? No. In the shop? I could be mistaken. 
but I don't recall seeing them. So... Oh man, that's tempting. That's our boss. There we go. Before we go there, I'd like to see if we can even get to the... If we can. So, before we do so... Let's go check out how much he wants. I assume it's going to be 25. If it is 25, we're in luck. It's a fairly easy one. It's 25. And do you have a key for us? You do. Is that 25? It is. Alright. We'll do it. What did we get? Um, I'm happy with that, I'd say. And then this guy should give us a chest, even if we only break one. Okay, so we want to stand right in the middle. And if we can hit this just right, this should work. It did. Okay. Next is this one. If we hit it here, it's going to bounce off there, and we want to get him early. Successfully. We hit this in the middle, it should hit that, and we want to shoot like now. Okay. So, the final one is going to bounce to there so we just need to dodge that which is gonna be kind of tough so we're just gonna fire oh my god we did it what's this Deckard unicorn of handguns fires massive explosive rounds well it's only got two bullets in it who are we fighting Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Yep. Hey, look at that. That was really easy with the Deckard, and we only used about half our ammo. What is this, Icebreaker? Yeah. So this is a new weapon as well. Alternates between frigid blasts and explosive slugs. Alright. Um, our secret floor is over here. So we'll go ahead and head down to the Oubliette. Um, I am expecting a longer run, I'll be honest. Uh, I guess we'll try the icebreaker. So I believe... Yeah. And then this should explode. It did not. That's irritating. And that did not go nearly as far as I thought it would. Uh, I didn't mean to use the slugger there. Okay, we do need a key. I think this is gonna be our room clearer for now. Just because it's a little bit more damaging. Well, maybe not necessarily. But it... It allows us to kill more enemies. Quickly. So... 
That's kind of what we're looking at right now. Is basically just how many enemies we can kill in a certain amount of time. Because, like, we could switch to this now and just freeze his ass. But I get the idea of it. I just don't see the necessity of it right now. However, I will admit, despite how nice this gun is, not a whole lot of ammo. I don't want to go yet. Okay, now we'll go. Woo! I'll admit that was a little close even for me. We'll shoot you. Nope. We'll go back. Poison both y'alls. Kill you. Kill you. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you're dead. And you're dead. There we go. Got some more health. Ooh. Yes, please. Listen. I did not want to use an armor for that. Or, in other words, I didn't want to lose an armor for that room. But I saw the bullets coming at me, and they were coming fast. And I was probably half. That's annoying. I hate this purple guy. I know how to beat him. My brain just doesn't want to function properly when he appears on the screen. Because it's fairly simple. You know, you just have to move in one direction and then juke him out. Just doot, 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 doot. Look at those tiny little feet. He's so cute. Um, now realizing we probably should have filled up the Deckard because that's going to be our boss clear. Let's switch weapons for this because he is not worth the vertebrae K. Okay. I think we can fill up the Deckard. And this should fill up our vertebrae. It did. Okay. He had two keys with him. You know what? I think I might actually use the icebreaker for this guy. the icebreaker was a good choice, honestly. Reason being, it does slow him down, or at least it used to. However, we have now reached a point because we lost all of our shield. Yeah, so... I think the, uh, the Deckard... Deckard should have been our weapon of choice. Hmm. Mr. Accretion Jr. Uh, 
causes fire damage. That's interesting. Um, I'm taking both of these keys. We haven't been playing amazing. Nanobots. Nanomachines. Sun. Gain armor when damaged several times. These self-replicating nanomachines transform lead that enters the body into armor. Okay. Don't know why I did that. We're just gonna blow this up, get some junk, hopefully be able to sell that for like, you know, three, three coins. Alright, switch to the vertebrae, okay. We know what needs to happen here. And we know how to do it. Uh, what are we looking for, really? Um, I'd like a... Not a higher damage output, but like a, uh... more exactly like a, uh, a fast firing something that has lots of ammo. More specifically, a room clearer. I mean, I'll admit the vertebrae is doing work for us. Nod key, unfinished gun. We will spend more on the, on the nod key. Before we leave this demon hell. I do think it's gonna be this way. I really hope it's this way. Ooh, they wrapped around and killed him. Yeah. This is our first chest. And it does have a room attached. Hell yeah. We will go down here. I know I said that, and I haven't promised, or haven't fulfilled it. I do sincerely plan on going down there. So if my simple brain, my simple human brain, can just remember that we're going down who is it? Oh my god. Alright. Fairly easy. Full reload on that, or on the vertebrae kit. Yeah, definitely on this. Grab a key, open this, get a heart, half a heart. And... There's nothing here. Those are spikes, so... Jump, and jump. Easy enough. Simple as that. We did get a key. Which is nice. We'll go ahead and reload that. All of our guns should be at max ammo now. And in here we have a green chest. Not amazing. Oh, the Gungeon Ant, the Bubble Blaster, and the Bottle. If I'm not mistaken, the Bottle keeps hearts for you instead of using the save for later so you can only reach it at um shops and stuff and like end level I believe you can use it earlier okay we can unlock both of these we will flame hand 
And this should give us a passive item. Ring of ethereal form. Get ethereal. It's an active. Temporary incorporeality. Incorporeality? This mysterious thing briefly allows one to traverse the ethereal plane. In addition to incorporeality, this bestows flight. Take care not all... F Take care not to fall upon return. I think we're gonna stick with singularity. It does synergize with Mr. Cretion Jr. The Gore Gun. We'll run this way in hopes that. Okay, can we? Thank you. Ooh, we're just gonna go ahead and dodge that. We did hit both of those, which is nice. Ooh, she's chasing us again. We're good. Yep, we're doing this again. Oof. Oof. That was a little bit frightening. My brain's working overtime right now. It's too late for this shit. Wow. She went the real roundabout way. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Singularity saved us there, but it definitely helped. What's this? What is this? Heals per floor active, provides healing and replenishes on each floor. I don't think it's that worth it. And again, Singularity. Remember, we're going to the special floor. And we'll spend 80 on the Nod Key. What was I doing? Did I just need to remember to go to the special floor? I think so. We have another key. It's not really useful to us, but that's fine. Alright. Down to the special floor. I don't remember what this floor is called. Abbey of the True Gun. Um, we'll take the Vertebrae K and we'll keep Flame Hand on deck. Now, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. This floor is a little bit harder. I don't know why I had to use my brain for that one jelly kid. I hate books. Excuse me. Pop, bitch. I wasn't actually sure if we were gonna make that jump, so I'm really happy we did. Honestly, that was kind of just to shoot wildly and hope for the best. More enemies. I'm gonna be honest. I think this guy warrants this gun. And we're back. Already down to 75 bullets. And that does not help. Okay, so we have 30 bullets. Well, we have 24 bullets left. I was gonna say we have 30 bullets in each clip. All right, so what's next? I guess flame hand. 
and then we'll go back to the vertebrae, okay? And we'll actually switch back to the flame hand. Because I think... Despite... It not being super powerful... The fire damage... Is worth it. Oh my god, the beehive. That's our boss weapon. Um, simply because we don't have to aim it, and I can just hold down left click. And not think about it. And, despite what you think, We did get the secret room, which only has a heart in it, and we should have used that on the vertebrae K. It gave us 210. Oh goodness, cats. Quiet down. The dog is pretty good, the proton backpack is not, in my opinion. Take the flame hand back out. It's like some of them are big, some of them aren't. And I don't know what determines that. I'm gonna assume... The bigger the bullet, the better. You'd think fire damage would just fuck those guys up. I don't know what he is, but he doesn't take fire damage, which is a little irritating. Okay, we want to jump here. We want to back up, though. Wow, I had to use a lot of brain power to figure out what the fuck was going on there. He takes a lot of bullets from the flame hand, which is not amazing, but... Okay, do I just have to wait for these to line up correctly? Yes. Which is now. It was not now. It was not then, when I said it was. Who do we have in here? Uh, a soldier. I don't really want to use a key on a brown chest. I'll be straight up honest with you guys. Uh, a key for a brown chest at this point in time? We need a better weapon. We'll icebreaker this bitch. He should be in final form. He is. Okay. Bees. I do think With our bees, it is more than possible to beat this guy without taking damage. Yo, but this guy's got so much goddamn health. Okay, I need a new weapon.
I did not realize it also sucks my bullets in. Which I'll admit is a little bit sucky. I mean, there is no way we're getting out of that. We've took it, taken so much damage. But that's okay. He's dead. And that's all that matters. Sunglasses are good. And we got the pitchfork. Sunglasses, bright future, and pitchfork get forked. Works with the flame hand. Oh my goodness. You're so loud. Alright. A favorite of the fallen bulletkin who've learned everything about being devils from television. Um, and then we'll see sunglasses. Slows down time during explosions. Increases dodge power during explosions. That's fantastic. We need to go unlock this. We will do this. But seriously, another freaking active... I cannot get away. Wow. Thanks for rescuing me. I am heading back to the breach. We'll see each other again. I'm sure of it. Alright. Down on the third floor. Black powder mine. Okay. Now what about flame hand? It's just always giant. Which I can't say is bad, because I don't actually know. It is... Um... Piercing, though. To a certain extent, it seems like it's piercing. Right. Time slows down during explosions. Forgot about that. And increases dodge. Mmm. Mmm. Dodge ability during explosions, I guess? Is he dead? He is. Please, you need to die too. I missed that one. Got him. Got him. Ha! If both of them were false, I was gonna be pissed. Just die. You're dead. Okay. We haven't been playing great. All three of them are on fire. It's you. I know it's you. You can't escape it. Flame hand is working for us. I'll be honest with you. I'm liking it. We're already down a lot of ammo, though. After this, we'll probably move to the pitchfork. Alright, what do you have? Ooh, the Luxon Cannon is pretty good, if I remember correctly. It's not amazing, but it does some pretty decent damage. Man, those blue guys do not like to die. Okay. Couple of mushrooms, easy peasy. A frog. I'm just gonna kill you as quick as possible. And you take three, maybe four. Four without burning him all the way. I'll do it. 
You, uh, you require a key? That's not much of a blessing. Okay. I'm upset because that other guy exploded. I do not like this room. Sam, I am. And it was completely unnecessary to come in here in the first place. So that's fantastic. We are going up here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Flame hand. I felt like our bees were better last time. Where is he? I can't see him. Yo, that's super fucking annoying. Like, I'm not even sure there's anything I could have done about that. Like, he just came at me with the speed of a thousand bullets. Kill this blue guy. There we go. Okay. Of course there's more enemies. Why wouldn't there be? Die, please. Thank you. We're down to nine. What don't we want? Icebreaker? I'm gonna keep Mr. Accretion Jr. I know. We're getting rid of the beehive. It could be a mistake. Demon head. Synergizes with the pitchfork. Uh, that doesn't seem to do anything. Neither does that. Heart backpack. Heart holster. Still a lot of rooms to check out. Uh, we'll go down to this, because we only have nine bullets left. Nine shots left. Nine flames left. That's our boss. Okay. We are on the third floor, so remember, you have singularity and you have blanks. I'll be straight up honest. Probably should have been hit there. But somehow, some way. There we go. We're empty. We have to remember if we see a cape. To not shoot it. Because I think if we save like 10 of them or something, or maybe we talk to him after we s don't kill him, we get something out of it. I don't remember exactly. But I do remember that it's good for us. Okay. To the boss. Let's check for keys first. You do have a key. I will take your key. And I will hope... I guess this is the closest? Okay, listen. Oh, that's the secret room. The only thing is... The helix cannon... 
Here's the thing. Fires two wave projectiles. It's okay. How much is the Luxon Cannon? 63. We're gonna take it. Omnichromial? Omnichrome. Rapid fire with a big finale. We still have Singularity. I was really hoping that there would be something good in there. Um, we're gonna start with the demon head. Right, explosions. Yo, we gotta stop fucking dodging on that. We're not gonna get hit. And we missed the big finale. The only thing that's not amazing about this weapon is its reload time. We're just gonna go ahead and singularity that bitch. A little disappointed in our play. The banana! Plan pain! What do we have? The SSA, accelerating loading time. Pretty good, okay. SSA fires ricochet rounds. And the reload time is ris super ridiculous. We'll take our health. Thank you. You're a wonderful vending machine, I guess. Gumball machine? It's more like a gumball machine, right? What is this? Oh, it's our flame hand. Um, we'll take out the helix. Now we'll take out the banana. Oh no, he took our banana. Wait till he fires at us now. Yo, you saw the dodge, right? The dodge was there. I don't really want to use the banana against them. No, 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 no. Okay. He came back alive. I thought one banana would have done it. I was wrong. I was coming back to this game after a couple of years is making me realize a lot of the guns I thought were good are kind of trash. Um, Luxon cannons, not bad. However, I would for no reason say it's good. He should die here? Yeah. What do we want to refill? Our banana? Probably. Break the Molotov out. Fire some fire. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a world of hurt. That shouldn't have happened. Like it at all. We're gonna go with the SAA.
for the reload time. And the ricochet rounds. And despite what you may think... I think the SAA is pretty good. Can I save for later? Thank you. We're doing alright. I just can't get salty. When I get salty, we lose. I'm salty about that. I'll be honest. Okay. Really right now. Yo, we dodged, like, straight into that. There should have been no surviving. Or no not getting hit. Holy shit, this is a big-ass fucking floor. With lots of fucking enemies. My. God. That was our secret room. I mean, yeah. There is nothing. I don't know what this is. Well, what do we have here, dearie, dearie? What do we have here, dearie? Hmm, what is it, dearie, dearie? Do you have something for our pot? Sure. Don't get greedy now. Don't get greedy now. Thunderclap. This gun is much better. I think. And it does have a lightning aura. Which is kind of nice. I say it's much better. It's, it's pretty good. Okay. I should have changed weapons, I'll be honest. Man, we are not doing well on here. Okay. We're alright though. We've got lots of health. There we go. Honestly, probably shouldn't dodge into those guys just for safety. Yo, really? I'm just taking some real dumb damage. I need something right. Our banana. Feel hit? Really? How did that not? Is our banana being pulled somewhere? Or does it have just a fucky sense of direction? Because it was not going where I was aiming. To be fair. Nope. It is a banana. It's 
so I shouldn't expect too much from it. We got some health. Ooh, got to turn that off. Okay. Um. Man, this is such a big fucking floor. And it's only the fucking hollow, too, man. You know, I was expecting a long one. It might come to an abrupt ending, though. We have the health to survive. It's just about how long I want this to go on. Siren, the Mer Shotgun. Prevents goop effects. One of the first energy weapons created in the gungeon. Okay, so we need to stand like here ish. And we'll get three for it. Uh, that was expected. I don't think a map is really necessary. However, the Anne villain is really good. We should just be using the weapons we have, though. We can get through this using the weapons we have. I know we can, but it's all a matter of... Beating the dragon. Okay, I will admit. buying a key and we're going to here again we have the health to survive but it is more empty. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? The siren? Sure. I mean... There's not a whole lot we could have done there. We did survive. We got some hegemonies. We got Cupid's, or we got Charmed Bow, which I believe is just Cupid's, it, Cupid's Bow. Charmed, uh, charms enemies temporarily. I'm gonna be honest, because this is so long, I'm tempted to not fight the past, because 
it's just gonna be a long one. Like, a really long one. I mean... Oh my god, we got hit by it. What's gonna be the best way to get through that? Honestly? Fucking demon head that shit. We have to fight it over again? With more enemies. However, the uh, spider was gone, so that was nice. Armor. We will be the dragon. It's almost a guarantee at this point. We won't flawless, flawless him because we are not on our game right now. Damn that son of a bitch. All right, now this is also a gigantic floor. Which is actually okay. Keep rolling, keep rolling, we're good. Uh, that was a holy shit moment considering the fact we didn't take damage. I think two enemies just fell into that hole. A key could be good. We're on fire. For some reason. Okay, that's the dragon. Well, I mean, we're already an hour into this. And I don't think we're at the level of... I don't think we're at the level of fighting the past. I don't remember what it is. Which scares me. Yes, we're using the SAA again, because it is actually a fairly decent weapon. Despite what you may think. Yes, it's a pistol. Yes, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. However... Okay. Listen here, sweetheart. Mm. 
This should be an item room. I'm almost tempted to not find everything else on this floor, but we're going to. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. No, you're going in the water. 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 I don't even care. Okay, our SAA is empty. Looks like we're going to the siren. There's our shop. Litchy trigger finger. I'm sorry, but I have to. Rate of fire up. And you know me, I have to find everything on a floor. I mean, it's definitely noticeable with this gun. That's for sure. I don't think it's going to be down there. I think it's going to be this way. I really hope I'm right. I'm not. I can tell you right now that I am absolutely not right in saying that it was this way. You think a gun that shoots water wouldn't do that much damage. See, here's the thing. We're doing all right. Um, if you're wondering why I chose the Deckard, it's simply because it does a lot of damage. It may not be our first weapon of choice. Do I have the Luxon or the SAA? I think we'll take the SAA. So what's this fire rate now? Doesn't seem that much better. Green chest. Wax wings. We have 59. The blooper's not great. Yeah. You know what? We'll take a blank. We'll go fight the boss. I'm done. Uh, let's start with the Deckard and honestly I don't know I guess I guess the siren we'll start with the siren I don't mind his first phase too much as it is fairly easy to get past.
even with the slowdown. Wow. We're absolutely going to be hit there. I can't... I don't know if it's just me playing poorly or if we've just got a real shit draw this time. I seriously cannot tell. Yeah, I mean... So, we did decide to fight the past. We're gonna at least attempt it. We weren't doing damage. We're not doing damage for some reason, which is kind of annoying because we just wasted that entire fucking thing. I don't know why we weren't doing damage. And it's slightly aggravating. We have 60 bullets left. I think... 30 bullets is a clip. However, we just fucking ran into the dragon. I'll be honest, I just think we had a shit draw this time, guys, because we don't have any kind of, like, just massive damage dealers. They're all sit and waits. What's next? I honestly think this is going to be our longest fucking run ever. Now, we can choose to not fight the past, but I already took the bullet, so we might as well attempt it. And I'm vaguely starting to remember the past of the Marine. Vaguely? I remember the end of it, that's for sure. I don't remember the fight itself, though. I just remember what happens after. I think something somewhere escaped from a lab. Yeah, I've got time to go towards the lab. Oh, it's you. Didn't expect to see you again. Something went wrong during the test. Something came out of the opening to escape. The escape pods are just down the hall. Save yourself. You're good at that. Maybe you can still help them. Is this the lab? Yeah. Interdimensional horror. What other weapon do we have? That's okay.
as I said, I remember nothing about this fucking battle. My number one question is why is it shooting bullets? Where is he? There he is. He's back in the center. This I can do. Where did he go? What are these fuckers? Kill them all. back to the pistol for these. Why do I have 50 credits? Just like out of curiosity. Was I like saving up prison money? I mean, he's almost fucking dead. Galactic Medal of Valor. Unlocked. Oh, military training unlocked. You really saved the day, cadet. We're all we're all still alive because of you. Well, except that guy out in the hallway. He definitely died. I didn't think you'd have it in you. And oh boy, I was wrong. Think of what happened if you hadn't contained them here. You're a hero. Turn the gun, Jen. Turn the gun, Jen. Oh, man. Daruma unlocked. Galactic Medal of Valor unlocked. And military training unlocked. An hour and nine minutes. Holy cow. Alrighty, guys. This has been a long ass episode. If you managed to sit through the whole thing, thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll probably go back to the uh, pilot and try and take out his past. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.